Every cell in you belongs to me. Episode 3 of X-Men 97 kicks things off with Beast conducting tests on Jean Grey, who unexpectedly appeared at the X-Men's doorstep, whoa. The results of the test were surprising, it turns out that this Jean Grey is the original one, not the one who has been with them all along, what? Yeah, I know. So who is the other Jean? Is she an imposter of some kind? Well, as it happens, she was a clone created by Mr. Sinister. <laughs> Meanwhile, the real Jean Grey is being experimented on by Sinister himself. Back at the X-Men headquarters, upon hearing the news that she's not the real Jean, she retreated to her room with Nathan. To their surprise, Mr. Sinister appeared, revealing that he now had control of her mind and wanted her and Cyclops' son, Nathan. Although the clone Jean attempted to resist, she eventually succumbed to Sinister's control, transforming into what she called herself the Goblin Queen. Both Jean and Goblin Queen possessed the same powers. While Jean was unconscious, the Goblin Queen attacked the X-Men, bringing their worst fears to life. Fortunately, whoo! The original Jean Grey intervened just in time to save them before collapsing due to her weakened state. Goblin Queen seized Nathan and fled to Mr. Sinister who had a sinister plan to make Nathan invincible by dipping him in some sort of liquid. That sounds great. The X-Men arrived to rescue Nathan, but were met with fierce resistance from Goblin Queen, who displayed her true power by effortlessly overpowering even Magneto. Now, if it had been for good old Jean, they surely would have perished. Jean managed to regain control of Goblin Queen's mind, freeing her from Mr. Sinister's influence. They rescued Nathan, but he got infected with a dangerous virus. What? While submerged in that liquid. To save him, they sent him into the future with Bishop. In the post credit scenes, Storm is seen discussing the possibility of regaining her powers with a man. That sums up the main points. Now let's dive deeper into Storm and other details when we discuss the Easter eggs from episode three. Let's begin.